Okay, in this video, we're going to look at uh, some calculations involving moles. Okay, now there is an equation that you need to remember. You don't get given this in an exam, okay, so you need to make sure you remember this. Okay, and it's N equals M over A R. Okay, and I'm going to tell you what each three parts of that mean, but that is something is worth memorizing. Okay, so that N is the number of moles. Okay, and it has the unit shorthand is mol. Okay, so that's what the n represents. Okay, the m is the mass in grams. Okay, and ar is the relative atomic mass okay and that's what you'd find if you look at something you'd look that up in the periodic table okay if i show you the example of an, an aqa one here again the one we use an aqa um it's the top number each time okay so you've got the top number and the bottom number the top number is the relative atomic mass okay there's a similar version to this okay if you're dealing with atoms then you use the relative atomic mass if you're dealing with compounds it's basically the same equation okay but instead of having so it's still m but instead of having um, relative atomic mass, we have MR, which is the relative molecular mass. Okay, but essentially it's the same equation. Okay, now sometimes in other videos I'm going to show you, we'll use this equation but rearrange it. Okay, so just at the side here, I'm going to show you the rearranged versions of this, uh, some later videos that we'll come to. Okay, so uh, a bit of maths needed here. Okay, so N equals m over mr. Okay, if we want to rearrange that to work out, so for example, we might know the number of moles and we might know the mr, but we want to work out the mass. Okay, if we re rearrange this equation, okay, you can, a bit of cheeky maths, you can move the mr from down here up to there, okay, to mr times by n equals m. Okay, second rearrangement, not needed quite so much for GCSE, but I'll show you here anyway, is that sometimes you might want to work out the MR, you might know the number of moles, you might know the mass, but it's the MR that you want to work out. Okay, so we could do a second rearrangement, okay, and this time we're going to take the N, bring it down to there, to give us MR equals M over. Okay, we will use rearranged versions of this later on, okay. Um, I prefer this shorthand version, it's much easier to remember, okay, um, and it's uh, not so much writing in your exam, okay, um, but if you prefer to do it with words, it's perfectly fine to do it with words, but this helps to uh, write a little bit less down when you're in the exam situation. Okay, so how do we use this equation? So you might be asked a question like, something like this, so how many, oops, can't spell today, how many moles in 112 grams of iron okay so we know we've got 112 grams we know we've got iron okay so we're using this equation so write out the equation n equals m over this time it's, it's an atom okay so we need ar okay so then we substitute in our numbers. Okay, so the mass is 112. Okay, you then need to grab your trusty friend, the periodic table. I don't think you can see this without me refocusing, which I'm not going to do. So iron's here. Okay, uh, top number. Let's try just about. Okay, so iron's here. Okay, and its relative atomic mass is 56. Okay, so you stick 56. In the bottom part of your uh, equation okay you then grab your calculator always use a calculator for this this is an easy one you could do this in here but always do it with your calculator just in case 100 total divided by 56 equals two moles okay so if i've got 112 grams of iron then i've got two moles worth of iron so this is the amount of mass this is a measure of how many particles of iron i've got <clears throat> okay so that's one as an example if you've got a uh, element Sometimes you might be asked about it if you've got a compound. Okay, so let's try another one. 
So how many moles in 75 grams of, let's take something like calcium carbonate, our trusty friend from the limestone topic, okay? Same equation, number of moles equals mass, but this time instead of divided by AR, we're going to divide it by MR because it's a compound. Okay, so we can substitute in our numbers. Mass is 75. Okay, slight addition to this time is that you need to work out the MR for this compound. Okay, so you grab your periodic table, you look up all the different uh, atomic masses. Okay, do that as a separate calculation. So I'll do that down here um, as a separate calculation. So the MR of calcium carbonate, if you look at these values, you'll find that calcium has an atomic mass of 40, we've only got one of them. Carbon has a relative mass of 12, we've only got one of them. And oxygen has a relative mass of 16, but we've got three of them, so we need to add three times 16. Okay, punch that in a calculator, and you'll find that comes out to be 100. <clears throat> okay, so we've now worked out our MR, put that into our equation, 75, divided by 100 is 0.75 moles. Okay, so a quick uh, intro there on how you use this equation okay, to work out moles if you've got relative atomic mass or if you have to work out the relative molecular mass. Okay, so that's moles done.